Well, boys, week two of the NFL season is here. And we start on Thursday night with the Giants taking on the Washington football team. Washington, of course, you know, I, I, again, I forgot Ryan Fitzpatrick was the starter for Washington, but now he's injured, and so Taylor Heineke, y'all remember Taylor Heineke, right? He will lead the football team at home against the New York Giants, who have not had a winning record since, what, 2017? It's pretty bad, you know? And, and the Giants are still trying to improve on things. Not even going to watch this game because it's a Thursday night football game, and those types of games are just not fun to watch. Uh, but Sunday, though, Sunday, we got some good ones. We got some good ones already, man. Um, the Raiders and the Steelers. Oh, boy. That is going to be a great way to kick off a Sunday. Um, Raiders, of course, coming off that really win on Monday night in overtime against the Ravens. And the Steelers, they used their defense in the second half to beat the Buffalo Bills. So I'm wondering how the clash of things will go there because... Both the Steelers' offense and the Raiders' defense at times were just not very good. And I'm wondering how this how this matchup will play out this week. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. Let me tell you that. Um, I mean, Derek Carr, you know, has gotten a lot of new guys, you know. Or at least, or at least he's got a couple new guys, you know, like Zay Jones. Or at least he might he might not be new, but I'm not I'm not exactly sure. But I mean he's still got Renfro, he's still got rugs, and, and you know, I mean he's just got he's just got playmakers and of course Darren Waller, who he threw it to like forty times the entire game. So maybe that will be the game plan against the Steelers, throw it to Waller all the time. Um Steelers they just gotta keep improving their offensive line in all honesty. You know, their offensive line wasn't very good against the Buffalo Bills. I felt like they got bullied out there. And they need to get it. They need to get it together. You know, defense is fine, of course. And you know, I mean, it's just that offensive line is really the big question here. Um, 49ers, Eagles. So how will the Eagles do against you know a better team? Because the Falcons, we know, they weren't good in preseason. And they didn't look very good in week number one against the Eagles. The 49ers, they got to be careful. Don't you know this Eagles? This Eagles defense could punch a team in the mouth. I mean, they were they were bullying the Falcons. They were bullying the Falcons on offense and defense last week. And the 49ers just can't. You know, what what's the thing going on there with the 49ers? Is it going to be Trey Lance? Is it going to be Jimmy G? We really don't know. You know, it seems like signs seem to be pointing towards Trey Lance soon. But I, I genuinely don't know. I'm going to be looking at this game to see how it goes, how it plays out. About those Texans and the Browns, you know, the Texans, they got a lot of guys in the, in the free agency in, in the offseason. I don't know how. You know, they're still battling the Deshaun Watson trauma. Or rather, not trauma, drama. The, um, the Deshaun Watson drama is still going on, you know. And the Browns are reeling, you know, after losing to the Chiefs. Um, but I think, you know, as long as they don't blow a lead this time, I think things will be alright. It should be an interesting one here. Broncos, Jags, you know, Urban Meyer, you know, he's already dismissing the um, USC coaching rumors. But I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. The Jags, they don't look too good. And the Broncos, they're, again, this team is a sleeper. This is a sleeper, sleeper team, you know, led by Teddy Bridgewater now. And I'm just sitting here like, wow, how is the Broncos a sleeper team? We'll find out. We'll see what they can do. Um, I'm not going to watch this game, unfortunately. Saints-Panthers, though, I might be looking at this game. I might not. You know, Sam Darnold and the Panthers, you know, they're still kind of rebuilding here. Um, they go up against the Saints team, who has a lot of momentum. You know, they're going on the road, the Saints are, with Jameis Winston, who threw five touchdowns last week. Can they keep it up? I genuinely don't know. I genuinely don't know. You know this, this, this Saints defense was, you know, they, I mean, the, the Saints defense, you know, they didn't really look like they had a lot. And I mean, I guess they did because they, they really were keeping Aaron Rodgers on edge. And the same thing could happen to Sam Darnold this week. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Rams, Colts, on the other hand, it's going to be interesting to see how Matt Stafford and company, you know, goes on the road to Indianapolis. You know, the, the whole thing with the Colts is still at quarterback. What in the world is going on there? You know, because I mean, Wentz. You know, he was he was he was definitely all right. I mean, the Colts. You know, the defense for the Colts was getting burned, getting burned by Tyler Lockett each and every time. I, I swear, I just I just don't know, man. I don't know. 
Um, Bills Dolphins also another interesting matchup, you know here. And the Bills they they got to be feeling disappointed in themselves from last week, you know. They they, they blew that lead against the um, they blew that lead against the Steelers and the Dolphins are going to be fun to watch too, you know this year. You know they they added some pieces and Tua is still you know doing his thing, you know. I mean, the Dolphins are just looking like a pretty fun team to watch this year, in all honesty. Patriots, Jets, there's really nothing to say about this one. I really have nothing to say, you know. How will the Patriots continue to improve under a new quarterback in Mac Jones? You know, and the Jets are, they're the Jets. I mean, it's going to be a rough time, you know. <laughs> Bengals, Bears is, is one matchup I really didn't expect to be, you know, in week number two like this, I really didn't expect this matchup to have any intrigue, but I mean, it could be Joe Burrow versus Justin Fields, you know, because I mean, the Bears looked awful on both offense and defense last week, and the Bengals, you know, they got a huge victory in overtime, so, you know, I'm wondering, can Joe Burrow exploit this Bears defense, because I mean, you know, I mean, is the, I mean, the Bears still got Khalil Mack, I mean, right? That's about it. That's about it. You know, that's about it for the Bears. I mean, they don't really, they don't really have anything. Um, the Buccaneers and the Falcons. Oh boy, that might be a bloodbath. You know, I mean, I don't know. I don't. I really don't know. Cause I mean, the Falcons just did not look good against the Eagles. They did not look good at all. Can they exploit the Buccaneers secondary? Cause I mean, the secondary for the Bucks have been a little bit. They've been a little bit banged up, so I'm wondering how will things go there. Um, Vikings Cardinals, that's going to be fun to watch. You know, I mean, the Cardinals look like they're going to be a fun team this year. I'm going to be keeping an eye on them throughout the year. Vikings, you know, they they, they still have Kirk Cousins. The, the Vikings still have pretty much have the same problems as they did, you know, in years past. But we'll see how how things go there. Um, Titans Seahawks, that kicks off the late. Well, that kicks off the later later games, not the that the Vikings Cardinals is 305 along with Falcons Bucks. Um the national 325, 425 Eastern games, Titans, Seahawks. I'm just wondering is Derrick Henry gonna do anything, you know? Because I mean the Titans got torched and the Seahawks, yeah they were torching the Colts last week, so that could be a recipe for disaster there. A real recipe for disaster. How about my Dallas Cowboys? You know, they're, they're going up against Justin Herbert and Chargers. Chargers looked all right last week. You know, they got a victory against Washington, and they they could be looking for another one, you know, at home against my Dallas Cowboys because, I mean, the Dallas Cowboys defense is still kind of rough. It's still kind of bad. You can't have Antonio Brown go all over you like that. You can't have Gronk going all over you like that. You just can't have that. And, you know, I'm curious to see who the Chargers have out there because I really haven't t taken a good look at the roster for the Chargers right now. <laughs> I don't know why. I just haven't. Uh, yeah, that's going to be real fun. You already know Jim and Tony is going to be there. You know, my quarterback back in the day, Tony Rowe, is going to be at that game. Um, Sunday night, Chiefs, Ravens. Ooh, Ravens got to be feeling themselves after last week's loss in the Chiefs. But some other opportunity for the Chiefs to go in and just show the world that they're the new overlords of the NFL, the new New England Patriots of the NFL. I mean, it's the Chiefs, man. What can you say about the Chiefs? Lions Packers finishes off on Monday night. I really don't have too much expectations for this game. I mean, the Lions, they had a great rally lack last week with Jared Goff at quarterback. You know, at, at the very end of the game against the 49ers, Packers got bullied last week. So I'm wondering, you know, is this defense going to improve throughout the season? And, you know, is is it really time for Aaron Rodgers to hang it up? You know, I'm, that's going to be the question that's going to be circulating throughout the season because of how bad, you know, the, the Packers lost in that game on Monday night. Or rather, not on Monday, on Sunday afternoon, last Sunday. So, again, there's a lot of storylines going into this week, and, of course, you know, there's guys like Lael Collins that got suspended for, like, five games, even though he got drug tested, like, 180 times or something like that, and I guess it was just, you know, it was it was something stupid, just absolutely stupidity, you know, coming from, from the NFL, wondering how, you know, things are going to go in the week two, 
you know, because I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't really see, I don't really see, you know, how things are gonna go. You know, it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be a week of weirdness. I can tell you that right now. I'm not again. It's gonna be the first time I'm not gonna watch the the um the Monday or Thursday night games. So that's gonna be a lot of times this season. I think where I'm not gonna be able to watch those. Or I'm just not gonna watch those at all because those matchups are unattractive. That's gonna be an interesting thing to go through throughout the season. I know. I'm sorry, <laughs> but Sunday. It's gonna be one hell of a lineup. I genuinely don't know what which game I'm going to be turning on at noon on you know Sunday afternoon. I genuinely don't know. We already know what game I'm gonna turn on, you know, in the late window. Them Cowboys, but you know, it's it's a lot of intrigue in that early window too, very much so. So that'll pretty much do it from here. Um, Y'all will see this on a Thursday. So get let's get to it. Let's get these views and you know let's get the channel keep it rolling. And I'll see you on Saturday night. Well, actually, it'll probably be midnight, you know, or midnight Sunday again for college football recap. Y'all take care. Have a good day.